it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight today's video it has been a minute since I have filmed um, for you guys no it's just been regular but I have taken like five days off um, uh, during the weekend I went swimming with my little family and I got severely sunburnt um, I put on sunscreen but my skin is just still very sensitive it has always been sensitive towards the Sun um, so I got severely um, sunburnt so I have been slowly recovering from the sunburn my arms still like my shoulders still hurt a little bit but I am slowly recovering so today I'm going to be kind of moving a little weird but I do feel better than I have since it happened um, just slowly recovering but um, I am doing a huge massive clean with me today the house is fairly dirty it's not super dirty but I will be mopping the floors I finally got my Cedar steam mop which I am super happy about I chose the steam mop instead of like the spin mop because I like steam mops more I thought that one would be better and also it's easier to put away and um store in like a closet than that bulky um tub that you like use for like all the water and the dirty water and stuff it's just much easier to store away and it doesn't take up that much room so i did go with that one it is more of a bigger price but i am very happy about it i have not opened it yet or taken it out um i did open the box to check it out but i never i did not take out any of the parts so i will be doing that on camera but i will be mopping the floor today which is pretty disgusting especially having a toddler and dogs and just humans in general it is super disgusting so we are going to clean i have a lot of dishes to put away and to clean behind me i also have lucas's toys that i have not gotten to that i will need to get to now um, so I will be doing his toys as well and just decluttering and organizing them I'll be vacuuming the floors and tidying up the dining table And then I also am making dinner and I'll show you what I'm making for dinner, but let me hear you show you around Can't believe you love me pot roast that's just what it looks like there are some potatoes onions um, carrots and then some meat and for the seasonings um, I use this buttery steakhouse seasoning it's super good and then always Italian seasoning Italian seasoning is my favorite seasoning so I always use that and just some um, salt and pepper so that is just what I season my pot roast with and it's been cooking for about two and a half hours 
and it probably still has like six hours to go. <laughs> to say that this video is in collaboration with my friend Hannah her channel is home with Hannah and all of her information her channel link and her video link will be down in the description box so if you are interested in checking out her channel which I hope you do because she has the best cleaning videos all she does is clean on her video on her channel and also do laundry motivation bathroom motivation all of that she just does so much cleaning motivation over on her channel so if you want more cleaning motivation um, after this video then go check out her channel and her video down in the description box I hope you enjoy and thank you so much Hannah for collaborating with me on today's video I will let her hurry and introduce herself Hey you guys, my name is Hannah from Home with Hannah here on YouTube. I am a stay-at-home mama of two toddler boys. Over on my channel, you will find tons of cleaning motivation. If that's something you guys are interested in, I'd really appreciate it if after watching Michaela's video here on her channel, you head on over to my channel and watch the video we made in collaboration with each other. I just wanna say thank you so much to Michaela for doing this collaboration video with me. I just, I always love Michaela's videos and I'm so excited for this collaboration. Now that the island is cleared off because I did end up cleaning it a bit, I am just going to start putting away the clean dishes. A lot of the clean dishes were still dirty. My dishwasher does not do a great job cleaning the dishes, so I always make sure to scrub them really good and clean them before I put them in the dishwasher. Um, but even sometimes they're still not clean because food gets flung around in the dishwasher. Um, but anyway, so a lot of the dishes in the dishwasher I did have to put in the sink so I could rewash them and then put them in the dishwasher again so that was just all I was doing but there were lots of dishes that did end up getting cleaned Sitting on my ass, I'm so contemporaneous in love with my behavior. But really, I could probably try and be something greater. 
you're not my favorite You could tell me something different But I probably wouldn't listen No, I probably wouldn't listen The word that's the ego Scared is taking over But fuck it if it's fun To run my tongue up on these road fronts But I know I could lose it All if I'm not careful I sound scared Hope you feel that my heart's there though Now that the dishwasher is empty, I am going to start putting dishes in the dishwasher that were dirty after I did wash them. And these purple gloves that I did get for like the super clean video, I have been using them a lot to clean the dishes or clean them in the bathroom, whatever, because they're just cleaning gloves. They have been working so well. I do end up washing them every single time, like rinsing them off and there's soap on them already, so they kind of do get washed while I'm washing washing the dishes but they have been amazing washing the dishes with them like you don't feel gross touching some of the dishes because for me I get really grossed out easily so it's really nice to touch the dishes and not feel gross and then do it with hot water and not burn your hands because the gloves are protecting your hands
are dancing as one You and me are moving Make sure we get through this Let's just keep on dancing as one Seem to have the time But when it's hard you just grow cold up We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves It's deja vu Say we're done, say it's over and now I am going to change the scentsy smell I love doing this every time I clean because when I clean it just makes the house feel so much cleaner and fresher and just it makes it feel so much better do you use a wax warmer or some kind of fragrance to make your house smell um, do you use essential oils let me know down in the comments what you use I have tried the essential oils but I ended up hating it I've it's like a love-hate relationship but while I was pregnant I ended up just throwing it out because it just made me so frustrated um, so now I do stick with wax melts and I also have a love-hate relationship with those too because sometimes the wax spills but it's just it's hard to make your house smell good without having a love-hate relationship with some things cleaning my stove top again I'm using the bars keepers friend um, cleaner for the stove top let me know down in the comments what do you use for your stove top what kind of cleaner do you use um, just multi-service cleaner do you you use something fancy or do you also use bar keepers friend it should be good but we keep out of fire would you be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep out of fire We keep on talking and talking Talking and talking
like sun and rain And drama on the TV is full of pain But we're the good part, the happy ending Unexpected plot twist, we always say me We're the good part, we never fake it Even if it hurts, we always say it It is so hard trying to keep a high chair clean all of the time. I usually clean it once a day, but I deep clean it usually twice or once a week. Um, more like twice, but sometimes I really only do it once. Um, and that when I deep clean it, it's just me vacuuming where he sits and wiping down all the handles, wiping down where his feet go, wiping down the straps and everything like that. Those are like the deep cleans, but usually I do just a really light clean and that that's where I just like wipe off where all the crumbs are where he sits like just my hand and then wipe off his tray Now I am just sweeping. I thought it would just be way easier to sweep up the floor than grab the vacuum and bring it all the way up here. So I did end up sweeping the floor, but wow, the floor was really messy. There was a lot of crumbs and just a lot of dust and leaves and everything like that. There was a lot on the floor. Um, so I did just end up sweeping so then I could mop and I didn't get all the areas. Like while I was mopping, I still found some crumbs, which wasn't the best, but I did like try my hardest to get everything while sweeping. And I did want to refill my water. I love this mug so much. I got it from Target and it keeps my drink cold for so long and it helps me drink. It really does. Like I probably drink two or three of these a day, which is amazing. Um, and then I tried the coconut and watermelon combined. It's a coconut flavor and then a watermelon flavor of LaCroix and I mix them and it's actually really good. It doesn't sound like watermelon and coconut would really be good, at least to me. I'd rather go for like pineapple and coconut, but the watermelon and coconut actually went really well together. And now I am just unboxing my new O-Cedar steam mop. Um, it was really easy to put together and it was just super easy. When I did have it put together, I put 25% of mop cleaner and then the rest like 75% water and then just filled it up to where it said max um, in the cup. And I also put like the little mop um, reusable mat on it like the cleaning mat and like what's nice is all you have to do is throw it in the washer and dryer to clean it which is amazing and then that black thing that i was putting on it that is for like the rugs i'm not really sure what you do like if you steam mop rugs but that was like a um a carpet glider so i did just want to put on to see how it worked and it heats up so fast like just letting it sit for like two seconds like five seconds um 
it heats it up so fast and it works so well I really am enjoying this steam mop from Oceder I would still love to try like the spin mop you if you do have the spin mop let me know if you really do like it and let me know like all the pros and cons about it because I would also like to get that mop but I am very happy about the steam mop from Oceder it works amazing and it's so easy to use Honestly, my floors were so disgusting and I knew that they were, but seeing how disgusting they were on like a white like a uh, carpet mat thing it's disgusting how disgusting the floor was and we step on that and then like we walk around like we like go on our bed and we walk in our shoes and everything we put our socks on but then we walk on our floor and it's just super gross that like our feet travel with what's on our floor all the time whenever we're apart it takes me through the night When I look deep into your eyes When I look deep into your eyes When I'll be coming home Now I am starting on the downstairs and just picking up like all the brooms and stuff that go upstairs and throwing some trash away and then I just start organizing and going through Lucas's toys. Wow, this was super overwhelming and it was just so chaotic and just so much. Like, when there is just so many toys and so much to work with and go through, it really does get super overwhelming. And like in such a small, dark area, it's hard to see like exactly what you're working with and what you have and trying to sort through it. It was really overwhelming, but I did get through it and I did like how it turned out. Everything got decluttered that I wanted decluttered and things got organized and put back to where I want them.
You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Okay, so this is how it's looking. I cleaned off the table, which probably won't stay clean for a while. Like, it will get dirty right away. <laughs> it won't stay clean for that long. Um, over here, I put um, a bucket just underneath. That's just the random big things that like I can't fit into this square thing. So I just put it underneath his bouncer. Here are all of his stuffed animals and um, kept all this stuff still for school because I still do plan on homeschooling Lucas. Um, all the rest of this, I did not go through <laughs> these parts, but I know what they are. Um, so I just left them, which is fine. And then I did sort through all the stuff. Over here are like his big toys, then his grill parts, all more toys that he can just grab. This is all like learning. Stuff. so I just put them together so he can learn in one bucket his music stuff his sensory stuff and then more toys right there and then some books that I just set there so he can grab them read through them and um, the rest of his books are in our bedroom but he'll be fine with these ones out here and then another toy his lawnmower which is his favorite toy right now um, and that's everything it looks better it doesn't look the best but it does look better and then over here these clothes still need to be put away these are the clothes that are going to storage now that i have gotten through everything these are the toys that are going to storage and this is going to storage as well 
And then up here, these are all the toys that I am getting rid of. Sorry, it's kind of hard to show. <laughs> but there's like all these toys in here that I will be getting rid of as well. Like it just goes forever. It's a pretty big bag just filled with garbage. So now I am just cleaning and wiping down the table that is downstairs. This rarely ever gets cleaned unless I clean it and I clean it about like once a month. Um, it does end up collecting lots of dust and hair but we never eat on it. It never gets used so it really only gets dirty with dust and hair. Same with this TV stand um, and I just really wanted to wipe it down really quick. It only took f like three minutes to do both of them at the same time so I did just want to hurry and wipe it down and it was super disgusting i know we had the right intentions but somehow it came to an end now time to vacuum i love vacuuming you guys know that i love vacuuming i love the vacuum lines and i also love how fresh it is after vacuuming it just feels so much better and so much cleaner and the floor always looks so much nicer downstairs is looking now I just got done vacuuming um, I'm just gonna run this stuff out to my car and I wiped off the table and the TV stand and here are the toys but the downstairs is all clean now and same with upstairs that is the end of today's video we got so much done we mopped the floors cleaned the kitchen did the dishes organized lucas's toys and vacuumed the floor even dusted the tables and the tv stand some things i normally don't do but i'm so happy i got them done in today's video that was a lot of work again go check out hannah's channel if you haven't already seen her channel she has amazing cleaning content so if you need a lot of extra cleaning motivation go head over to her channel it's all down in the description if you are coming from hannah's channel or just new here hello welcome i am michaela perry i am 22 years old i have a 16 month old son and i am recently engaged to my fiance andre that's just a little bit about me over on my channel i do lots of cleaning laundry motivation i decorate for my house during like seasons and holidays same with my front porch and I also share lots of drinks and food recipes I am super sweaty because I just got done doing a lot of hard work <laughs> but I would love it if you would stay on my channel and get to know me I would love to get to know you I love making new friends and having new friends join my community so I'd love it if you would join the, my community and also follow my Instagram our little bloom if you want to see more different people's feed and stories i do i post on instagram like almost every single day i do lots of tap for cleans and then like share my food and share what we're doing just post lots of cute photos of my family and my son being adorable <laughs> so if you would also like to follow my instagram i would love to have you over there but that's it for today's video i hope you got lots of motivation to get up and get cleaning along with me i will see you all next time bye I get a stable, I get a stable.